The recent scuffle at Massey College at U of T with imputations of racism in some ill-considered cracks about the master and the lash by retired prof and Holocaust scholar Michael Maris actually joins a long, peculiar history at Massey. When it began in the 1960s, it was a snooty, men-only institution with an Anglophile head. Novelist Robertson Davies, who reveled in Brit pretensions. It took 10 years in a big fight just to get women in as members. The filthy, rich, aristocratic Massey family endowed it, along with Hart House at U of T, also restricted to men for its first, oh, half century. Part of the shtick at Massey was the archaic lingo. It was the only part of U of T with a master. Davies loved that stuff. My own guess is that Maris, who I've known since high school, wasn't just making an offensive tenured joke. He also meant to take the piss out of the pretension. His jibe was probably directed mostly at the current master, Hugh Siegel, a lifelong Tory, not at the black student who was present. But everything went screechingly off the rails. Apologies have now been tendered. Maris has resigned. Master will no longer be used. And this is how things get resolved at that weird place with maximum public embarrassment. It's a great piece of architecture, by the way, and you should drop by to see it, but be prepared for stuff like the gowns they still wear at dinner, where they still have a high table for the knobs and boffins. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.